For decades, we have seen how sports can be a powerful vehicle of social change. And on Wednesday morning, hundreds of people gathered to create more conversation, but also take those words and make them into meaningful action when it comes to gender equity in sports. And that's what it's about. It's about we're all human beings. Some of us are men, some of us are women, but we're all equal. Making sure everyone has equal opportunity, equal access, and equal resources to achieve their dreams. Stacy Allister grew up playing tennis in Southern Ontario before making history in the tennis world. When the former Women's Tennis Association CEO assumed the role of tournament director of the U.S. Open in the summer of 2020, she became the first woman to head any of the sport's four grand slams. You know, there were no women to help me in the sport of tennis. So I had these incredible male allies who believed in me. So um, at this stage of my career, I'm so energized and feel my responsibility to help so many talented women that are at that managing director level, that VP level, to pull them up, get them to the C-suite. And that most likely will mean that I'm going to make room for them, but I'm okay with that. Alistair was one of several speakers at the second annual Unmatched Gender Equality Sports Conference with the goal of taking the conversation and making it become an action of change. They're already seeing a shift in representation in some of the biggest sports. We're seeing the numbers change. Paris is going to be the first games, I believe, that's going to be equal 50-50 participation. So that requires a lot of things to happen, right? It requires events being added to the program that include women that are gender equitable, and so it's exciting to see that. It's about time. A national study by the Canadian Women in Sports Foundation shows that one in every three girls drops out of sports during their adolescence, compared to only one in ten boys. This conference, as well as initiatives put in place by Tennis Canada, is trying to change that narrative, and they hope to inspire the next generation of Bianca Andrescu's or Layla Fernandez's. But it's everything from how to keep young girls in the game, because we lose so many young athletes when they're we're, we're, um, in their teenage years and adolescence to trying to, to stimulate interest in getting more women into coaching, whether it's recreational tennis or high performance, getting more women, women into leadership roles, into speaking roles. So there's a ton of files. They're all equally important, but all quite achievable. It's just going to take some time. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.